we as a department are constantly looking over our curriculum to make sure that it's up to date and it's uh, preparing our students for their careers once they graduate, whether it be going off for of graduate school or into the private sector or into the government. So what we decided to do was to create two new supplementary courses to each one of these two core courses that we have and have that take the place of what we would call our Synoptic One, our basic forecasting course. It allowed our students now to be prepared to generate their own data, to analyze, analyze their own data fields, and to apply what they're learning in the course during that semester towards a particular problem that is a forecasting, an application type problem. And so I think that the real innovation of this course is, is just simple act of getting the students to work with the real tools, the real data set that they will be, data sets that they will be using in their careers that, that we use in our research and so on, but also really with uh, applying the concepts and communicating the tools. So each week they produce this, this short two minute presentation, uh, an applied forecast to a real situation using the concepts, and, and it gives them a lot of practice to, uh, to take everything they've learned and put it into a, a nice little produced animation. Uh, they, they, they learn to, to communicate with their peers. Uh, and the, the notebooks have, have been a great um, sort of springboard for allowing that to happen. Part of the assignments that we were doing every week uh, was not only do we need to you know, do this analysis, we need to write up our results, but also we need to make a two to three minute video uh, communicating those results uh, to a non-technical audience. And there are different challenges involved in both of those. And I think probably what's going to be the most memorable thing for me, uh, say 10 or 20 years from now, uh, is that sort of process. So I think the innovation also adds that we give more freedom to the student. The student now in the past used to be given maps. They used to be generated by some other source. They had no idea how they were generated. They had no way to change any of the map uh, images or anything like this, or the data sources themselves. Now what we do is we give the students more freedom with these Jupyter Notebooks. I was able to see the results of the code I ran immediately. And if there was an error, <laughs> then uh, then I knew that I needed to change something and, and, and do something differently. I was also able to see if I was doing things right. Do I see the cyclone I'm supposed to be seeing here? When I take this cross section, do I see the right sectors? And can I pick out the actual processes that are going on. Having gone through this process and working with the, the notebooks gives them a chance to have already learned a lot of the tools that we use in our research and, and, and it means they can jump into research uh, with us as faculty uh, much more quickly. These same tools are used whether they go on to careers in, in broadcast meteorology, operational meteorology, as, as consultants, as, as researchers. All of these fields are, are, are very data driven. Um, they need to, to manipulate, uh, to access, to process, uh, to visualize and to communicate that data wherever they end up. And, and this is just immediately giving them lots of experience in doing so. I think it was really uh, helpful to have a sort of real world picture of um, what, what these equations actually mean in a very practical sense. Bridging that gap from the abstract to the tangible is, uh, again, it's tough to do with Greek letters and symbols on a chalkboard. It's much easier when um, you have maps in front of you, when you have graphs that are being fed with real data. It has actually uh, helped me to change my teaching philosophy, uh, but it also has helped me a great deal. And I feel strongly that it's also helped the students is that we have more of an interaction now. And I feel that I am participating more in the course rather than being too much of a isolated lecturer and watching students write things down. And I think that's what these Jupyter Notebooks have done for me is to increase my enthusiasm now for coming to class. And it's sort of a new way of presenting materials. In terms of teaching philosophies, for myself as well, it's it's really reinforced uh, how important it is to, to make students actively engaged in the material. Um, it's a real pleasure to watch them get excited about some concept and to see they 
uh, you know, stayed up all night extending um, some part of the notebook and, and exploring some some interesting thing that they found and, and, and really trying to trying to bring that to life in, in their presentation. 